They can be sleek, fast and are built for having fun. And they help people keep their distance outdoors. That's part of the reason why US dealerships are seeing motorcycles zooming out the door faster than ever before. I've basically been just trying to learn new things. Um, and this is probably one of them. It's one of the only hobbies that you can do um, and maintain social distancing. This family-run dealership in Belleville, New Jersey, has been in business for more than four decades, but the owners say they've never seen such high demand. So recent months, our growth has been uh, exponential in the past two months, you know, three months realistically in particular, we were able to really get back to doing some business here. You know, we experienced 30 to 90 percent growth, which has been just explosive for our industry. Manufacturers are reporting similar surges. Honda Motor, for example, reported a 110 percent jump in its U.S. sales across all motorcycle categories in July. After years of relatively flat growth, motorcycle sales in the U.S. revved up nearly 6.5 percent in the first half of this year, compared to the same period in 2019, according to the Motorcycle Industry Council. But the question is, will it continue to be a smooth ride ahead? Off-road options like all-terrain vehicles or ATVs, dirt and trail bikes have been leading the charge, according to the Trade Association. They appeal to a broad spectrum of riders and their sales are up more than 50 per cent. This could spell good news for the industry as a younger generation shows interest. The, the biggest surge to our industry early on was getting the youth ATVs, the youth kids' bikes, the side-by-sides, getting people out and riding through the parks. That right there is going to lead to the incremental sales over the years as they follow the brands and have some brand loyalty to the product that they were able to start out riding on. Some in the industry blamed slowing sales on an ageing customer base. American brand Harley-Davidson in particular has been struggling to grow beyond its baby boomer clientele. The company has not posted retail sales growth in the US, its biggest market, in the past 14 quarters. But many dealerships say they've seen a spike in new customers of all ages, and training schools around the country have also reported an increased demand for courses. I'm optimistic. And I believe that it's the industry's role to help sustain the momentum. And that includes, that includes us as a trade association. It's a combination of the companies, they continue to make great products. We continue to deliver training. And collectively as a community, we need to be welcoming to these new riders and help them uh, become part of what we do and really grow into lifelong riders. There are still some bumps in the road. Dealers say they're facing low inventories after factories were shut down for months. And some are still trying to make up for lost sales earlier in the year when stores were closed. But they're hoping the new enthusiasts gained during the pandemic will help the industry speed ahead. Jade Barker, TRT World, Belleville, New Jersey.